68 years after their World War II bomber crashed in Italy's Po Valley, the four-man crew of Boston BZ-590 were finally laid to rest with military honours in northeast Italy on Thursday. The early morning burial service for the three British and one Australian crew member was held at the Padau War Cemetery. Members of the Royal Air Force's Queen's Colour Squadron carried the coffins while the last post was sounded by a family member of one of the crew. Australian air gunner 21-year-old Warren Officer John Penboss Hunt had joined British pilot Sergeant David Kennedy Rikes, Navigator Flight Sergeant David Millard Perkins and wireless operator and air gunner Flight Sergeant Alexander Thomas Bostock, all aged 20 on the fateful flight on April 21, 1945. Relatives of the British crew gathered at the graveside along with Australian Wing Commander Wes Perrid, who had accompanied Hunt's family members to Italy. Hunt's half-brother Wes Madge attended the ceremony with his son. Folded Australian and British flags were handed to relatives following the service. In a way, the motion has been ongoing for a long time, if you know what I mean. And it, um, it, I, I don't, it just makes it very special to be here today, to have the headstones here with all the crew together. Um, and the RAF doing the folding of the flag so precisely, everything done so perfectly in the service. It meant a lot, actually. But I would say, in a way, the crash site was more emotional for me. That, that I found very emotional. The Boston BZ-590 took off from Forley near Rimini at 20.45 in the evening local time and headed to the Po Valley on an armed reconnaissance. It failed to return. The aircraft is believed to have been downed by an anti-aircraft fire. And I think of my parents, um, who heard the news about ten days before the end of the war. They'd lost their son, or missing anyway, they didn't know. And all the world were rejoicing at VE Day and they couldn't rejoice and they never knew. I feel lucky that we do now know where he lies. Nearly seven decades would pass before the crew could be laid to rest. In 2011, an Italian amateur archaeological society specialising in World War II aircraft searches unearthed the remains of the bomber near the Po River in Caparo, discovering human remains and some personal items.